Hey guys, this is CJ from B2BElectricSupercharger.com and I'm here with a quick video to ask you guys what is the difference between this electric supercharger and the rest of them? They all have different boost uh, outputs but they all have a similar design. So to answer this question, let's first look at this. This is your standard electric supercharger. I got this off eBay and this is the electric supercharger I plan to do uh, my dyno comparison with. So you might have seen this one, this is the same one that they use on uh, Mighty Car Mods video. You can find that on YouTube and they actually did a dyno test. So we're going to you know, uh, fall in line and copy them and use the same one to do our dyno test and we're going to do a comparison against this one and the B2B uh, electric supercharger that I'm currently working on. So what is this? It is a sheet metal fan, right? Sheet metal fan driven by an electric motor placed inside a rubber coupler. And this, you know, goes on your intake, then you put an air filter here, and you know, you hook up the wire harness, and you supposedly you're supposed to get anywhere from one psi to five psi of boost pressure. So, one psi, ERAM, first one to come out, right? Uh, three psi the Ram electric supercharger and the Twister electric supercharger. Okay, let's go, let's, let's up it up a notch. Five PSI of uh, the Vortec, I think the Vortex electric supercharger has, that's the one with the fancy box with the Ferrari engine on the side of it. And I believe it has a Ferrari horse on the side of it. And it says uh, five PSI, okay? Man, wow, that's, that's, that's a lot of boost for the money, right? Uh, 200 bucks for 5 PSI boost, uh, that's a pretty good deal. So, now let's take a look. Alright, cheap metal fan, they say, you know, a lot of them have the same specs, 24 to 26,000 RPM, right? 12 volt motor, right? Oh, are you into RC cars? Because if you are, you'll know what this motor is if you take a real good look at it. It's a 550 motor, the same 550 brushed motors that you get from China in your little um, RC, as your stock RC motor. So man, they all have the same, you know, similar design, but they got the different boost ratings. Why is that? Well, the answer is, it's nothing but a promotional tool. That's all it is. It's nothing but a tool used to entice you to buy. One PSI, oh, that's not nothing. Three PSI, oh man, five PSI, right? Five PSI for $200. Dude, that's pretty damn good. If you can get a uh, a 60 horsepower increase for $200, it's crazy. So, it's nothing but a promotional tool. Think about it, right? If you do the research, study fans, okay? I did the research when I was building my, when I was writing my ebook, I studied fans. And I learned that fans do not flow, for example, one point PSI boost. Okay, fans flow approximately, okay, 0. 0.0001 or two. You know, they flow 0. 0.000 PSI boost. So if you were to stick this on your car, you got a lot of zeros to make up even before you get to one PSI. So right there, if you do the research, you know, that tells me, oh man, this, this is not going to work. Okay. What will the seller tell you? Okay, Once you bust him out on the boost, he's going to tell you this. He's going to say, well, when this flows, it's going to flow 1,200 CFM into your engine. Well, here's the thing. It might flow 1,200 CFM, but it's not going to flow 1,200 CFM in a confined, constricted space like a manifold or your intake, right? Now, it might flow 1,200 CFM right now, just holding it in my hand, but when you attach it to an engine, flow is significantly reduced. Why is that? Because this little 12-volt motor is now placed under a load, okay? So, if this motor is placed on a load, your impeller is going to slow down. If your impeller is slowing down, then the airflow is slowing down also. So that 1,200 CFM, cubic feet of air per minute, flowing into your engine is going to be reduced to probably anywhere under 100 CFM. 
So you can bust them out on that. When it all boils down to it, this is nothing but a means to make money. All these guys that are selling you these things, they're there to make money. So yeah, what they tell you, for example, there's a, a three PSI electric supercharger being sold on eBay right now, right? But it says three PSI in the in the in the title, but it, if you go into the body of the listing and read the listing, the guy says, well, it's only going to give you you know 10 to 15 horsepower, 10 to 15 horsepower. But you said three PSI. We all know that for every PSI, you're going to get anywhere from a 12 to 15 horsepower increase. So let's be let's be fair. So let's just say. 12 p uh, we get a 12 horsepower increase right so that's 36 horsepower we're supposed to get but then in his listing he said well you know I'm not gonna lie to you guys like other people you know it's gonna give you a 10 to 15 horsepower increase right no it's not it's not even gonna give you that if anything if your engine is small enough it might give you two to three these similar fans have been dyno before. I'm not the first one to dyno. Uh, Mighty Car Mods is not the first to do a dyno on a, on a similar setup. Matter of fact, if you go to the B2B blog, you'll see uh, information from the past that people have dyno similar setups and they've made two horsepower or three horsepower and that's just about it. I know you guys want convenience. You, you, you want to believe and you say, well, I'm going to buy it and, and try it out. You know, maybe it'll work for me, you know, but you're not going to get not even one PSI boost. Have you ever seen anyone hook one of these up and put a boost gauge on their car? Have you seen any advertiser do that? They're not, or anyone marketing or selling this, even the people on eBay, they won't do it. They won't do it, but I will. And that's exactly what we're going to do with, with our, with, when we do our boost challenge. When we're going to do our boost challenge or boost or boost or boost off. We're going to you know, put this on a car, put a boost gauge on it. Then we're going to put the, the 4 to 5 PSI version that I'm working on. And we're going to put a boost gauge on it and do the dyno and see how much horsepower it makes. So when it all boils down to it, this is nothing but you know, a way to get your money. All right, guys, update. Two updates. I'm working on my electric supercharger. Just went to the engineer shop today, had a talk with him. He's working on the design. I'm getting two prototypes built of my new design. All right. Second update. If uh, Pretty soon, I'm putting the uh, B2B ebook on Kindle, Nook, Barnes and & Nobles, and, you know, a, a lot of those different places where you can get it if you want it for your e-reader or for your, you know, your e-book reader. You know, for your Kindle Fire, or, you know, whatever little, you know, little reader you have. So uh, I'm working on that. Um, like, again, I want to thank you guys, the guys that have purchased the ebook. I really appreciate it. And I even had a girl purchase the ebook. I thank her too. <laughs> um, uh, thank you for your support. I really appreciate it. I'm working on it. I know you guys are frustrated. I know you guys want something real. So every ebook that's sold, I, you know, I take that money and I buy something like this. This is something that we can use to test and verify. I buy a brushless motor. I buy a compressor housing. I go to the engineer and I say, uh, I need this done. I need that done. And that's exactly where the sales you know, have gotten me. So I thank you guys. I appreciate it. And just know that you know, I'm one of you. This is my hobby. And if we keep you know, chugging along, hey, you know, eventually we're going to get that production run going. So. I'm still working on that, and thanks for your support. Hey, if you guys got any questions, you can contact me through um, through the website. You can contact me through YouTube. If, uh, if you want some of your questions answered, there's a Frequently Asked Questions page on the website. Uh, and that's it. Also, if you want the uh, B2B electric supercharger on PDF disc, on a, on a disc, you can get it off eBay. We sell a, a disc version on eBay. But the website version is a little cheaper. So I just want to throw that out there. <clears throat> so like again, like I said again, uh, guys, thanks for your uh, support. And uh, keep subscribing and uh, keep checking out the videos.